soft cataract just one crack will do the job this is one more video for beginners to learn how to manage a soft cataract because when you get a soft cataract the surgeon himself is anxious at times because what happens is we land up in crater because it is difficult to hold such nucleus so now let's watch what all i did in managing this cataract as you can see after making two side ports the dye was injected the dye here was not really needed because there was a good glow and i always make a triplanar incision which was made and now i am injecting visco to protect the endothelium now with utrata forceps i always go with both the limbs closed i just rub on into a capsule and then i make a rexis the initial flap is taken outside to the amount of diameter of rexis i require and for beginners again here i would suggest make a larger rexis in cases of soft cataract because you may need to flip so why just one crack i will tell you what happens with this just one crack and if your rexis is of fairly good size so after doing hydro c i am tapping so that there's no fluid in trap and as i do in many of my cases uh, now you can watch the golden ring that is being seen beautifully and now you have to rotate this nucleus and see after a good hydro one can see the good rotation after tapping and then as i was saying that what technique that we follow in most of the cases is the modified stop and chop where in i make a small trench you can watch the tip exposure here and see i am just making a very small trench so that i have a ample substance to hold and see just this crack this initial crack is sufficient enough now you don't really require any other crack because if you have managed to create two pieces see with the larger axis one of the portions of this nucleus lifts up and actually it flips up and see one half is already gone and now the second half again can be aspirated into the central safe zone and so the title just one crack will do the job now this video again it shows one thing is how to take that cortical sheet you have to go in foot position to just manage just give a bit of aspiration and just sweep your phaco probe sideways see here i'm sweeping and see how well you can aspirate the cortical sheet and see the whole job was done and now what is left is the remnant cortical fibers which could be taken now with the help of irrigation and aspiration now coming to irrigation and aspiration i have fast forwarded this because i have explained this in many of my videos the principle remains the same that you hold bring it to the center and then aspirate now polishing the capsule is one thing which beginners do fear a lot the main thing that required here is the settings keep aspiration 10 vacuum 10 and then gently rub the capsule in case there is a thrust do not attempt polishing the capsule as it might cause a pcr and now i am implantation as again i am doing it under saline and it makes the job pretty easy you can see how easily it was done the leading haptic went into the bag and the trailing haptic was just depressed into the bag and finally closure of the wounds and you can see the il was well in bag you can subscribe me on youtube at ashish mitra 14 thank you for watching this video